Isn't it beautiful? This beauty queen started off like this just a year ago. You just made the back. Her hair's all over the place too. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to me. We're going to a plant shop called Fern right now. We didn't realize that there's two within like a mile of each other. So they have two of these fern plant shops and they're so cute. We've never been to that location before, but we got Cicely those cute um, hair clips. And then I picked out one of these little moss balls to put up on my shelf in the kitchen because one of my plants is dying and I have nothing up on that top shelf. <laughs> now we're going to the next location that we've been to before and Aiden wants to get a little what are they called terrariums Terrarium. Aiden wants one of those for his office location number two this is the fern that we've been to before I'll insert a picture of me in Israel last time we were here it was like over a year ago but we're gonna head in and see if we can find any plants for us and a terrarium yeah Oh, beautiful. Okay, remember hands off, babe. You want to go on my shoulders? Sicily was horrible in that store. So I couldn't really look around because she was crying and her nails are so sharp. Even though I grind them down with this little grinder that I have, she scratched her face and it's all bleeding and everything. Um, but I got this, I think it's called an allocation. I've been, never had one of these before, so hopefully I do okay. Um, Got another string of pearls because I'm the pearl queen. I'm actually the string of queen. All of my string ofs do amazing. And then Aiden wanted this terrarium for his office. It's super cute and it has a dinosaur in it. So that's why he picked it out. And I actually made Aiden run in right now and grab me a pink terrarium because I think they're having like a 50% off because all of this was only like $50 and it should have been, his terrarium was 40, I think my allocation was 20. This string of pearls was six. I don't know, they're having some sort of sale. So I made him run back in, there he is. 25% off for a while. Oh, 25% off, you asked him. There's a sign, it was only 32 bucks. Isn't it beautiful? 
I'm so glad he ran back in. But in the moment, I was feeling so overwhelmed because Cicely was screaming and upset. Uh, awesome. I'm happy with our purchases. So now we get to go home and ooh, put our things away. Does it say about lighting? I think it said indirect. Probably. Do you even have indirect light in your office? I have a window. Cute. All right. We will bye head everyone. home. Yep, bye everyone. See you next time. I am absolutely exhausted because Cicely was up like all night last night. And I'm not the type of person who can take a nap. I will try and I try and I try and I will lay there for like an hour. My body just does not let me go to sleep. But both of the kids are napping and I thought I would show you guys an up close of all of the things that we got today at the plant shops because it makes me so happy. First, let's start off with my cute little tiny string of pearls. I am like the pearl queen. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see her. She's right in that corner, but this, let me just cover. This beauty queen started off like this just a year ago. I am the master at string of pearls. And I actually trimmed these and like replanted them to make this fuller. So it would have been even longer, but I wanted her to have fuller locks. So hopefully this time next year, this little gal will look like her. Next, I got this super cute little moss ball and it's sitting in a bunch of like little moonstone crystals. I think you guys can probably see it. So cute. Moss balls are like all the rage right now and they're extremely low maintenance. So I thought it would just be cute to put up on my shelf over there. And then I have never had an alocasia before, but these leaves are stunning. So I picked this up and I'm super excited to see if I'm able to take care of this. And then Aiden's terrarium. He's gonna take this one to his office. It has crystals in it. And then he picked it out specifically because there's a cute little dinosaur in there. So this one is Aiden's, so cute. And I guess these are super easy to take care of. You just have to spray them um, every couple of months. So like mine right now actually needs to be sprayed because there's not much condensation. Um, but look how beautiful this is. It's all like pink little crystals, white crystals, pink sand. So I am actually gonna take the opportunity to spray mine down right now because it needs it. For some reason, I thought it would stink. It doesn't. <laughs> so the lady said to just take a spray bottle and spray around. Oh, Cicely is awake. That means that we should probably go wake up Israel as well so we can go grocery shopping. So we woke Israel up early from his nap. Already a train wreck. And he is emotional because Aiden got that terrarium with the dinosaur in it and Israel crawled up onto the counter, opened it up, and got the dinosaur out and we put it back because we don't want him to have it and he's sad. So we're gonna check Fred Meyer to see if maybe they have some dinos there. But look how cute this little girl is. She scratched the living heck out of her face so I had to grind down her fingernails, but we are gonna head to the store. So Israel won and Aiden got him the dinosaur. <laughs> oh my goodness, but every time we come to Fred Meyer, I always want this sweater and today I'm finally getting it and I bring it to the cart and Israel goes, for grandma? And then Aiden starts laughing and making fun of me because he thinks it's a grandma's sweater. Rude. Good morning guys, it's Monday morning. I'm wearing my grandma sweater that I bought at for Myers yesterday because I guess both Israel and Aiden think that it's a grandma sweater. 
but I think it's cute. It's by Champion, like, hello. But we just got a package. I have no idea who it's from. I tend to order things and forget about it or like I work with brands and then I just like forget what's being sent. So it's a mystery. A tractor? Yeah. Let's see what's in this package. Okay, so this brand reached out to me because they wanted to send me this portable curtain type thing. So like when you go places and it's like super bright and you want the room to be darker, it's like really nice for kids. Interesting. Yeah, it's literally like to cover up windows. It comes with like little stickies and everything. I forgot we were getting that. We'll have to use that next time we travel somewhere. Maybe we can take this with us to Hawaii or something. That's my bag. That's your bag? Yeah, that's my dog's bag. Okay. That's my dog's bag. You got crazy hair this morning. Mm -hmm. I do. I think I'm about to go put Cicely down for a nap. Are you tired, girl? <laughs> she scratched her face. Look at it, guys. I think I showed you yesterday, but poor thing. Also, I wanted to say thank you to our follower, Hannah, who bought this for Cicely. She knows that we love um, butterflies and moths. That's like Cicely's little theme because it's another sign for rainbow babies. And she found this while she was out shopping and she picked it out. And it's so cute. I can't wait to put her in it. I think it's like a 6 to 12 month, so it's a little bit big. But thank you so much, Hannah, for sending us this sweet little onesie. I just made some lactation tea, and I'm about to start on dinner. I did my little Q&A Monday today, and somebody had asked what like my go-to dinners are. And I shared chicken pasta salad and burrito bowls, and I had multiple of you guys DMing me asking if I could share the chicken pasta salad recipe and we're making that for dinner tonight. So I thought that I would show you guys how we make it. It's super simple. You can add a bunch more ingredients or take things away that you don't like. And we eat it warm as an entree. It's funny because chicken pasta salad or pasta salad in general is usually like a side. If you go to like a picnic or something, a baby shower, everyone always brings pasta salad as a side. We eat it as the entree. And while the noodles are starting to boil, I am going to chop up a bell pepper, some fresh basil, and then we like to put fresh mozzarella pearls in it. And I usually cut these up as well because they are a little bit big. already added the noodles into the bowl. I accidentally over browned the chicken because I was doing a co-task while cooking dinner and I completely forgot about the chicken. <laughs> so it's a little bit brown, but now I'm gonna put together the dressing. So we use, and Cicely's probably gonna be grumpy while I do this, because she wants to be picked up, but we use this Italian dressing and recipe mix. So you take one packet and then I like to just pour it into my little Pyrex measuring cup thing. And then I like to eyeball it. You can follow the recipe on the back, but I don't. I just put a little bit of olive oil in there. Next, I do some white wine vinegar. It's basically just like a vinegar bit of white wine and then red wine vinegar 
And then I just take a fork and I mix it up. I'm going to pour the dressing in and then mix it up again. And then you can top it off with Parmesan. I like to add cut up tomato into mine. I don't put it in the entire thing because Aiden is a plain Jane picky guy and he doesn't like tomato in it. So I just put that in mine. I think adding artichoke in here would be really good. Um, and you can literally just make it however you want, add different ingredients in it, but that's literally just a super easy staple that we eat regularly in our house. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. So today's video shout out goes to my friend, Sav Savannah. So shout out to you, Savannah. And if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment down below. You guys are loved and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.